Greetings, YouTube. Happy Sunday. It is a very strange start to the Sunday when you go to your in-game inbox and you see Villain Crystal Bundles get two to six-star Villainous Champions. Normally, you think of something like a featured Cavalier Crystal, which has three to six-star Villainous Champions, but this says get two to six-star Villainous Champions. You click on it and you see for those who are uncollected, and then also uh, we have those who are proven. So <laughs> can't wait to see what this looks like. And we will start with the $10 quote unquote deal. Keep in mind, as I always say, $10 max for those of you who are really still going after four star crystals, $10 max should get you a fully formed uh, four star plus multiple other benefits. Really, five bucks per four star is what you would consider it to be at least a C grade in the common everyday of Marvel Contest of Champions. Ten dollars is the same price that we see, I don't know, four to five times a year. The ultimate daily card come up, which gives you an ultimate crystal with a 20% chance for a four star every day for a week plus enough shards to form by the end of it a four-star crystal as well. So you get a guaranteed four-star plus a 20% chance at an additional four-star every day for a week. Compare that to this deal, which is half of a four-star worth of shards, three level one revives, which are the ones, of course, you can get for free just by running into them and questing, and then five evildoer crystals, which at this point is basically a uh, fancy way of saying a premium Disappointment Crystal on steroids. At this point in the contest, this thing should be a max of five bucks. You limit yourself to two because they're really trying to take advantage of the desperation of new players. They're trying to say, hey, it takes a lot for you right now to get a four star, right? So if you spend 20 bucks, you'll get a guaranteed four star. Well, 20 bucks used to be the price of a four star in 2016. And so this bundle is all about trying to turn back the clock and take advantage of newer players' desperation and ignorance of how much the game has evolved in the last four years. So, this is getting to start off a big, fat, F grade. Do not purchase this. I don't care if today's the first day you're playing this game. All right, now we move to $30 bundle. This, of course, is the equivalent of the featured Grand Master Crystal as you have a chance for the top champion to be a five star at a 5% drop rate. Same price, but I remind you all, these things normally have greater champion or regular champion, 20% boost, in this case, 30% on the final deal. And they replace them with revives, which just aren't as valuable, particularly the level one and the level two, as uh, we've seen in the past. I think this bundle at this point should be 20 bucks. I think this is $10 priced too high. You got to keep in mind that we're comparing this to the early access bundles, which are exciting because you could be one of the first people in the community to get your hands on the new champions in those bundles. That includes getting to test some really awesome, unique synergies, which even though 2020 has been a year that Kabam has really kind of dropped the ball on releasing champions that are incredible, a lot of them do have incredible synergies to trash champions, and so that can be as much of a draw to pull the new champion as it is just using them in general. This should be 20 bucks. It's 30 bucks. I'm going to give it a D. I think it's a little bit better of a value than the right side, but that that's not saying much. That's like saying, hey, my house didn't burn down like yours did. It still has the door left standing. All right, now, speaking of $50, they still haven't figured out a way to make sure that you can keep the same six-star shards as the early access bundles. They took out the plus three uh, greater uh, champion boost, replaced them with three level three revives, which given you can only get them on special offers like this. But I would, I think if you're going to give champions that are uh, older, you're going to need to give more incentive, not less incentive. But I can already see the argument that's being made for this bundle because who is in the picture? I'm not talking about Mojo. I'm not talking about Venom. 
I'm talking about Doctor Doom, who my data tells me is still the most sought after champion besides Aegon, but I think Doom is more sought after at this point than Aegon for a variety of reasons. And so people will see this and they'll think, oh my gosh, I should spend $50 to try to get a six star Doctor Doom. Forget the fact that it's a 1.5% six star hero drop rate in general. But look at the trash that's in this that Doom, they're trying to like get you to fall in love with this banner so that Doctor Doom can tempt you. But you can easily spend 50 bucks and get a freaking five star or even six star Venom pool, right? Or, hey, how about a Loki or a Kingpin or a King Groot or a Juggernaut or a Green Goblin or a Diablo? Even Abomination. This crystal is so much chance, not enough choice. What if, instead of five equivalent of featured calves, they charge $50 for a nexus of this. And they said, hey, if you purchase this for 50 bucks, we'll give you, this is, this is my choice, either a nexus five star or what should be long overdue, the evolution of the legendary crystal, where you have a 80% chance for a five star, but a 20% chance for a six star from the same pool. One of those two things would give you far more of a guaranteed uh, choice versus a chance in this. But it's just still too much money. And the title of this video and the takeaway of this in general is, is what I say in general. The only way Kabam is going to learn is if people don't buy these bundles. The only way that they're going to have to lower the prices of these or put better value is if the demand decreases while the supply stays the same. It frustrates me so much that you have people that in the same breath that they say, we should boycott the game, they buy up deals like this that don't give them but very little guarantee for, with the shards and the revives, but certainly not the crystals themselves. It's just a terrible gamble for your money. The Evil Mastermind bundle does have Dr. Doom in it. I'm going to give it a D-plus grade, and that's pretty generous. But the fact that they still are 250 six-star shards short of what the 2020 early access bundles are and that they've taken away the plus 30% greater champion boost to replace them with level three revives. It's just a huge L. They're taking the L on these. But until you stop buying these, Kabam's just going to be milking everybody. And so please, I know it can be tempting when offers pop into the contest, but save your money for July 4th. And even if you don't want to spend any money, don't have it be today. I mean, it's just, uh, it's just a bad day for your cash. And that is not something that's going to get anything close to a passing grade today from your boy, Prof Hoff.